We are African, and we happen to be in America. We're not American. We are people who formerly were Africans who were kidnapped and brought to America. We Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. We were brought here against our will. We were not brought here to be made citizens. We were not brought here to enjoy the uh, constitutional gifts that they speak so beautifully about today. Because we weren't brought here to be made citizens today, now that we've become awakened to some degree and we begin to ask for those things which they say are supposedly for Americans, they look upon us with hostility and unfriendliness. If you're interested in freedom, you need some judo, you need some karate, you need all the things that will help you fight for freedom. Nationalism is the wave of the present and the future. It is nationalism that's bringing freedom to oppressed people all over the world. It, is, it was nationalism that brought freedom to the Algerians. It was nationalism that brought freedom to the Nigerians and to the Ghanaians. It was nationalism that brought freedom to the people of Uganda and Tanganyika and Sudan and Somaliland. The Africans didn't get it by sitting in. They didn't get it by wading in. They didn't get it by singing, we shall overcome. They got it through nationalism. And And you and I will get it through nationalism. What is it? What is it that makes it difficult for the philosophy of nationalism to spread among the so-called Negroes? Number one, they think they have a state in America. They think they have an investment in this country, which we do. We invested 310 years of slave labor, 310 years, every day of which you and my mother and father worked for nothing. Not eight hours a day. There was no union in that day. They worked from sun up until sundown, from can't see in the morning until can't see at night. They never had a day off. And on Sunday, they were allowed to sit down and sing about when they died, they wouldn't be slaves no more. When they died, they wouldn't be slaves no more. They'd go up in the sky, and every day would be Sunday. That's a shame. And it is that 310 years of slave labor that went in that was my and your contribution into this particular economy and political system. They can give us the back pay. Let's join in. If this is what the Negro wants, let's join in. Let's show him how to struggle. Let's show him how to fight. Let's show him how to bring about a real revolution. Let's make him stop jiving. You don't need a debate. You don't need a filibuster. You need some action. shooting at each other, then you gotta stop shooting at each other. Because it's not about turf. We've been warring with the 60s for 10 years and we ain't moved across Western yet. And they ain't moved across Western, so it's not about land, because neither, neither, neither one of us own nothing that we're fighting for. It's not about colors, because the color of freedom in America is green. It ain't red, it ain't blue, so you ain't fighting about colors. What you need to do is rethink the situation. If you wanna fight for something, come join us. Come fight for the land, you know what I mean? Fight for the land. Fight for some land that you can say is yours. Don't fight for a street that you don't own a brick on. I've been doing that for 17 years. I'm a 17 year veteran of the Crips. I ain't got nothing. I don't own a brick in this country. You know what I mean? So what you fighting for? You ain't fighting for nothing. And it's not about wearing a Malcolm X t-shirt or wearing a Malcolm X hat. It's about being yourself. You know what I mean? Being an African ain't something that you get up in the morning and put on. It's something that you are. It's something that you are. You know what I mean? It's a mind state. To be in that mind state be doing something connected to some land and they can't be no idea about self preciousness don't it you know it i come from the south bronx baby i organized tenants there i know about this we got to have land 
We got to have ground. And he gave us all meaning. This rap game is just a, con a conductor to what we really want to do. They feel that way. Control the world. <laughs> Small thing, just one thing. We just want to control the world. And when I say world, I mean our world. I think, you know, like, my life is my world and your life is your world. You know what I mean? So I mean, when we say control the world, I mean, like, controlling our own world where at least we can have, like, movie theaters and stores and a community. We don't even have a community. They got little Italy, little everything. They don't have a little Africa. They got the ghetto. And we think that that's ours. That's not even ours. That's just what was left over. No doubt.